All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now today, what we're gonna do is look at what Cheap just posted on Instagram. It's a rendering of what they kind of expect their all electric model to look like. Now they didn't really release any specifics as to you know the trim levels and you know any kind of outputs or anything like that. It's, a, it's to give everybody a ballpark of what to expect when they release their all electric model. They're saying within the next year or so that they expect to roll this out. And I'm sure that there's going to be three or four different trim levels within this EV model, similar to what we have with the Grand Cherokee. You have the V6, the 5.7, and then the Performance Minded 392 and Trackhawk. So I expect that to happen. Now there's a couple of concerning things that uh, I got from this post. Number one is that their future is going to be zero emissions across the board which is something that I can see Dodge doing along with Ram as both of those two other companies have now released teasers to their all electric models. Ram just released it recently and Dodge is expected to release a concept within the next few months. The other concerning issue is the rollout and the timeline in which we're going to be seeing these EVs. It sounds as though within a two or a three year uh, span, we will start seeing concept reveals production and then an official rollout for sale and you're going to have the market pretty much determine uh you know how successful these are i watched a couple of teslas the other day go to the drag strip and throw up very respectable times <laughs> That being said, it could not be more boring, okay? Watching a Tesla go down the quarter mile, not racing anyone. <laughs> has to be one of the most boring things you can watch. It is like a library. You can hear a pin drop. On top of that, I'm still not a fan of having a vehicle that's 100% reliant on electric. It is basically sitting inside of a computer which is known to be easily hackable if someone does hack your vehicle what happens if you get into an accident i'm going to stop it there i can ramble on for days about evs let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think of the concept that jeep just released i have to say that it's a pretty good looking ride I'm not, I don't see myself getting into one, but it's still a pretty nice looking vehicle. Uh, after this, I'm gonna show you guys some drag racing footage of some Teslas, and then also some, some drag, uh, Grand Cherokees, rocking it out, throwing up some quarter mile times. And you know, there's no denying that the EV is fast. But once you get past that, it's really, there's nothing more to it. There's nothing left in the conversation to, to, to talk about other than their quick off the line. I'm also a huge fan of letting the free market determine uh, what's successful and what's not successful. I have a problem when, when uh, there's authority forcing something down your throat. I still think that there's much better technology, zero emission fueling that will save the V8. And um, you know, I still think that they should be able to combine a lot of this performance electric uh, technology to what we currently have. Uh, the technology is all there. And it's a matter of, you know, these manufacturers trying to figure out a way around it to keep everybody happy. Trackhawk versus Tesla.
track on? Yep.